I did something really stupid. I got tingly. Uh. This this is such a dumb way to die. Yes, you are stupid, Jordan. You are so stupid. <laughs> this is the story of how I almost died literally a month ago. 2022 was crazy. We managed to travel to 20 countries and honestly avoid death hundreds of times. We ran over some of the sketchiest bridges in Pakistan, crashed a hot air balloon in Dubai. <laughs> that was crazy. And stood on way too many questionable rock edges. I swam with a wild crocodile, invented a game called Cactus Frisbee, and my friend also fell down a mine shaft. What? I surfed on the top of cars, stood on edges of rooftops, and almost got washed away by the Lebanese ocean. We walked into a crevasse of an active glacier, got stuck in a dust storm on a volcano, and nearly got blown away by torrential winds in Ireland. I mean, this is kind of expected when you've done 107 parts of a series called Dumb Ways to Die. We've done a lot of crazy things on this channel and after 11 months on the road, I was kind of feeling indestructible. But that all came to a halt on November 29, 2022, where I happened to make a very terrible decision. But before we get into this crazy story time, you have a decision to make right now because only 7% of you subscribe to this channel. If every single one of you subscribed that watched this channel, I would have 12 million subs and probably have enough clout to get a girlfriend. So hit the subscribe button, help me out, and let's get into this story time. I was traveling to Mexico City to make a vlog about the World Cup, but I had one day to kill before the big match, so I decided to go check out some of the local attractions, which included this famous marketplace where you can eat random insects. We've come down to a local market and any local market in the world put me there because it's always so interesting. It's so chaotically beautiful. As soon as I arrived I found the stall that sold everything from crickets to cockroaches to scorpions to spiders and I thought this was awesome. Because this is a scorpion. Little... This is a chocolate scorpion. This is a tarantula. What else do we have here? Hay wow. tarantulas, orugas, escarabajos, wow. cocciles, hormigas. What the heck? This is a chocolate scorpion. Oh my gosh, a freaking cockroach. Oh, look at these worms. Eggs. Right, well, we're only here once, so we've got to try the scorpion. Maybe the tarantula. Do we have more? Even touching it is freaking me out. Scorpion. Let's do it. Delicioso. <laughs> it was crunchy, but not so satisfying. I wanted that Pumba kind of satisfaction. Slimy yet satisfying. Okay, very niche Disney joke, but either way, I wasn't satisfied and I wanted to eat something more extreme. Then I saw the tarantula. Who wants to eat a tarantula? It's hairy. Ugh. This is going to be wild. Oh, I get to choose. I get to choose my tarantula. Um, esta, esta, or esta. I'm gonna choose. I like this one. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So that's the that's the thing. She cut open the tarantula and gave me half of the bum. Oh, that looks disgusting. This is the butt of a tarantula. And it's super juicy and hairy. Look at this. I mean, it still had hairs on it and it just did not look very satisfying at all. Ugh. I can still feel it right now. Ugh, it's disgusting. Ugh. Here we go. Tarantula butt. Oh my god, this is not gonna be good. <laughs> as soon as I put the spider's bum on my tongue, I got tingles. And now I know Tingles is not a good sign and you should stop eating. But Jordan back then kept chewing for like over a minute. <laughs> oh. It's really good. It's like... Oh shit. I look at your face, I'm, I'm concerned. It's like tingly. My mouth is tingling like... Feels bad. Like I'm getting hot. Oh my god. Oh, it's so spicy. Really spicy. Little did I know that every second I chewed was another day of recovery and potentially a life-threatening situation. Spit it out! 
<laughs> and luckily, in the critical moment, I did spit it out because that was the moment that could have ended really poorly for me and my esophagus. Yeah. Oh, I, Spider Man. I feel like I'm having a anaphylactic reaction. My whole mouth is numb. Oh my god. Stinging! You're stinging. Yeah, now no, I feel more. Like, I'm not sure if I just sharp. After Googling it later, I realized that if I swallowed the spider, my airways could have been blocked and that could have been a life or death critical situation, which I am so glad I did not find myself in. Wow, that was close. But unfortunately for me, this was just the beginning. So I feel like I'm having an allergic las, las reaction. Le van a it feels like I'm eating poison. Yeah. Oh, and I almost forgot. She charged me 40 USD for the spider. 40 bucks. So not only am I dying, but I'm also broke. Oh. She's saying eat the ant to heal the spider. Because of course, to heal the foreign food in my mouth is to put more foreign food in my mouth. Looking back, why did I believe this? Because that makes no sense. Ah, I do not recommend. I feel numb. I feel dizzy, actually. <laughs> what do you feel? Don't do it. <laughs> <sighs> At this stage, I was starting to get a little worried as I didn't really know what was happening to my mouth. Oh, that's the craziest thing I've ever eaten in my life. My whole tongue, my whole mouth is numb. I then quickly learned that the hairs on the tarantula are very toxic as they stuck into my tongue. It's been about 20 minutes and I, I can't even talk. Everything is numb and hurts. Oh. Oh. So yeah, 20 minutes later, my whole mouth was swollen. Five hours later, I could barely talk. It has been five hours since I ate the tarantula and everything hurts. I cannot even speak. My whole mouth is numb. Duh. Today I ate a tarantula and it stung my whole jaw and my tongue and I cannot continue to vlog. The World Cup is tomorrow, Mexico for Saudi Arabia and I don't know if I can do anything because I ate a stupid tarantula. Why did I eat the tarantula? What the heck? My mouth is as big as my tongue. My tongue just fits my whole mouth. It's currently the next day and my whole mouth is still swollen. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know what to do. Two days later, I'm still talking really poorly. Three days go by, I decide to see a doctor because nothing was really changing. Just went to the doctors and they gave me drugs and they also gave me a shot in the bum. So now, apparently, I should recover a little quicker. But yeah, this kind of sucks. Three days later. The doctor gave me a shot in the bum and he just said, it's a waiting game. I could not eat for a whole week. I was dying on this stupid juice cleanse. And unlucky for me, one week later, I was still struggling. Day seven. And I'm slowly being able to talk again since I bit the tarantula bum a week ago. So, yeah, it's still a bit swollen, but it's going down very slowly right now. Oh my word. This has to be the slowest recovery ever because two weeks go by and I'm still talking like a baby. 11 days later, I'm almost talking normally. Can you believe it's taking that long? Still a little bit of like cheek swelling here and here, which is crazy, but yeah, oh, almost out of this crazy mess. After about one month, I could talk again, and six weeks later, I am filming this right now. Moral of the story is spit it out. Do not swallow the spiders. Actually, no, the moral of the story is don't put foreign things in your mouth. And remember, you only die once, so make sure it's a good death, and not a stupid death by spider bum. <laughs> Looking at the camera, I think my jawline has actually been changed forever. I don't know. It's crazy, man. Spiders are nuts. Okay, what the heck. See you in the next one. Bye, guys. Shoo!